I'm Will from Outwatch. I've been getting a few questions asking how you can improve your situational awareness, so that's what I'm going to cover in today's video. Stay tuned. So how do you improve your situational awareness? Well, there's a few tests out there to see where you currently stand. I'll show you one of these tests now. This is an awareness test. How many passes does the team in white make? Go! The answer is 13. But did you see the moonwalking bear? So how'd you do on the test? That video is a good video to show that we can't get tunnel vision. It's very easy in a self-defense situation to focus on one individual, but we miss a whole lot of other information, such as if there's other opponents, if there's weapons involved, our surroundings, um, you know, the environment itself, you know, trip hazards, broken glass on the floor, etc. So as I say, we can't get tunnel vision, we've got to take in all this information. So that's essentially what that video is about. So I'm going to show you another video as well, with a different test, but this time I want you to pay attention to as much detail as possible, and again, not get tunnel focused on anything in particular, um, and just see how you do. So here's another video. Clearly, somebody in this room murdered Lord Smythe, who, at precisely 3.34 this afternoon, was brutally bludgeoned to death with a blunt instrument. I want each of you to tell me your whereabouts at precisely the time that this dastardly deed took place. I was polishing the brass in the master bedroom. I was buttering his lordship's scones below stairs, sir. Why, I was planting my petunias in the potting shed. Constable, arrest Lady Smythe. Well, but, but how did you know? Madam, as any horticulturist will tell you, one does not plant petunias until May is out. Take her away. Sorry, madam. It's just a matter of observation. The real question is how observant were you? And uh, action. Clearly, somebody in this room murdered Lord Smythe, who, at precisely 3.34 this afternoon, was brutally bludgeoned to death with a blunt instrument. I want each of you to tell me your whereabouts at precisely the time that this dastardly deed took place. I was polishing the brass in the master bedroom. I was buttering his lordship's scones below stairs, sir. Why, I was planting my petunias in the potting shed. Constable, arrest Lady Smythe. Did you see all the changes? Don't worry if not. Um, it means there's room for improvement. If you did, nice one. Um, that test, again, is to show you that we've got to be paying attention to our surroundings um, as well as collating the information we're getting involved. If you work in security um, or the police or the military it's very important that we can um, detect these different changes and all these different informations going on around us uh, in, a, in a constantly evolving environment so that's why that helps with that. Um, and from a self-defense point of view if you're not in any law enforcement or uh, military or anything like this it's still useful because again it's our ability to be able to um, comprehend changes, react to situations and draw in all the information possible while we're in an environment. So if we're in a confrontation situation we should be able to deal with this confrontation but at the same time 
um, view our surroundings and see if there's anything else going on. As I say, without getting too tunnel vision, it's really important. So apart from the videos, what else is there that we can do to improve our situational awareness? It's very easy, you just got to pay attention more. It's as simple as that. I used to work in uh, various security roles from um, door work, i.e. bounce ring, um, to undercover security, and I learned a lot from them. So the key information is to look for people who don't fit the current scenario. If you take, um, for example, walking down the high street, um, there is a set way people walk down the high street. You know, uh, there may be like no intention at all, they're looking at shops, very casual. Um, and then it, you, you will find someone who doesn't quite fit that. You know, maybe they're looking at people too much. Um, maybe they're walking with their arm tucked in, um, look like they're concealing something. Um, maybe their clothing attire doesn't fit for um, that day or everyone around them or the, the weather at that time. There's a whole host of things, so it's finding people that don't fit in with everyone else, like the norm. Um, and you can get these by if you're just sat outside having a coffee um, or you're walking around yourself. Just see if you can pick up information. As I say, you're looking for what the normality is and how everyone or the majority of people are acting in that scenario and then find maybe the one or two people that just don't fit that bill. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be just solely down to a tyre. Um, you know, just because everyone's dressed smart and there's one person walking down with trackies doesn't necessarily make them um, a potential threat. Um, so you've just got to think about, it's more about how people act as, pe as opposed to how people look. So look out for different mannerisms that people are, are showing you. Sign language, body language, it's really important. So um, seeing how someone's acting, how they're carrying themselves, um, what their motive is, what they're looking for, uh, if they're paying attention to something that just everyone else isn't. All these different things are key information to pick up. And as I say, the uh, best way to do it is just to just to start doing it. It's very easy when you're in a security role because your job is to watch people so you get an idea for as people coming through what the normality should be and then anything outside of that should uh, trigger a few alarms. But from a self-defense point of view, um, yeah literally just fit yourself in as many different situations as possible. So when you're in a restaurant, see how people are reacting around you and that will be the general normality and then same for in a cafe, it'll be slightly different, so people will be acting slightly different around there. And then as say when walking through the high street, and all of a sudden you'll start notice anomalies, so people who aren't acting like everyone else, and they're the ones you should focus your attention on. And see if you can pick out why it's different and why they stand out to you, um, and then see if you can tie it down. There's a lot of key indicators. I'm not gonna give too much away today. I'll go into some um, a little bit later, um, but I mainly want you just to start focusing on various scenarios and picking up key information about what the norm is and then seeing if anyone is outside of that. So I hope you found the video useful. Don't forget to subscribe down below, share if you liked it as well.